Susie from Our Life Out West. Thanks for coming by. So today I'm going to be asking Duke, the Duke, some questions. Don't you find it a little bit strange that, that uh, here we are sitting across the table from each other and look behind you it is sunny and just really nice and if you look behind me it's gray and cloudy of course that's common for me <laughs> so i'll ask some questions so uh the Duke lives with Rusty Brown, and a lot of you know Rusty Brown. Um, so I'll get started, and uh, I've got my paper here. So I want to ask the Duke, where have you been? <laughs> he hasn't been on a video in a long time. Uh, so uh, I just wonder, that'd be my first question, where have you been, Duke? Well... Let me tell you what happened. Luna May was got a hold of one of those doggone big city magazines and was reading it. And uh, in that magazine, she read, Men are like fine wines. The older they get, the better they get. So that heifer locked me in the doggone cellar. And it's just taken this long for somebody to find me. And that just tells you nobody was a looking for me. And the next question, are you still married? Am I still married? Well, I am for, for right now. But for how long, I don't know. And what kind of kin, that's my third question, what kind of kin... Are you too rusty? I remember you said before, but I kind of got lost. <laughs> rusty and I are kin. Now, I'm going to tell you this one more time. I am Rusty's uncle's brother's son's grandson. I think, yeah. Yeah, that's it. I'm, a, I'm Rusty's uncle's brother's son's grandson. I seen where you was eating uh, with Rusty out on the porch. And uh, I think you said you ate several plates of Rusty's food. And and Rusty was talking to you. And you said uh, to Rusty, are you going to eat that? Like you, want, <laughs> you wanted to eat his plate. So we know you like Rusty's food. So could you tell me, and Rusty's a very good cook, and he makes me hungry when he does his food. So could you tell me what's your favorite food that Rusty makes? Favorite food? My favorite food that he makes is anything that he doesn't make me work for. Because I love free food. Uh, back in the day, I heard you was famous. Is that true? And if it is true, uh, what was you famous for? It is true that back in the day that I was famous. And, and what I was famous for was my cackleberries. We raised cackleberries up in the mountain. And we sold them to the local people. And they sold like hotcakes. And because my cackleberries were just huge. They... They were the size of duck eggs. And uh, how I did it, well, my, my chickens laid year round. They never took a break, ever. And they'd lay five and six eggs a day. And how I did it is I took my grandpappy's moonshine, I mean, uh, medicinal medicine recipe, and I make it once a month because I need it. <coughs> But anyway, um, I mixed it with their water and their food, and they laid eggs as big as goose eggs, and I always called them cackleberries. Well, the lady down there at 
one of the stores asked me one day, she said, Duke, why do you call these cackleberries? And I said, ma'am, look at them. If you laid a basketball, you'd cackle too. Uh, what do you do in the summer? Uh, do you just watch TV or garden or uh, uh, just drive around, look at the countryside or something? Uh, that'd be interesting to know what you do in the summer. What do I do in the summer? Well, if, when Rusty don't have me doing all the work around here, I go down to the beach. We ha Yes, we have a little beach area down here. It's called the beach. It's really a river thingy jiggy. And we have a, uh, a little nudist colony down here where everybody just lets it all hang out. And they don't want me doing that. So in the summer, I go down there and I go fully dressed and I walk around and I sing really loud a song called I Don't Look Good Naked Anymore. And I make people take a look at themselves. <laughs> um, uh, could you talk your wife into doing an interview? Because uh, you never show her on camera. I think she's always in the kitchen. Well, right now, Luna's back in the mountains because I'm mad at her for what she done to me. So she took off and, and she she went back up to the mountains. So I can't tell you for sure right now what she did. If I could get my live stream going, uh, would you like to do an interview on my live stream and have your fans ask you questions? Uh, I hope someday you could do that. And... Uh, you might ask Rusty if he, if he could go live stream, uh, if he set up with that. So you'd be uh, one of them that I would want to be on my live stream, because uh, you're pretty popular. Live stream. Now what is that? Because I'm alive. I'm alive right now. So, but uh, yeah, I'd probably do it if Rusty would explain to me what it is and how to do it, because I'm up for about anything. Where, where, where did you grow up? Did you live in the mountains or somewhere? Uh, what state did you grow up in? Where did I grow up? I grew up on Magazine Mountain. Mount Magazine. And that's the biggest mountain in Arkansas in the Ozark region. It's the, the tallest mountain in Arkansas. And we lived right on the top. When Luna and I first got married, we hardly ever come down from that mountain. The nearest store was five miles away. And we never got used to modern luxuries. You know, we did everything the old way. Like, even starting fire, we used flint rock and stuff like that to start a fire. And, and, and... When I went to the store, we had to walk five miles down the mountain to go to the store. And one day I walked down there, and uh, Bill, there at the store, he said, Duke, I got something I'm going to show you that's going to make your life easier. So that right there, making it easier, caught my attention. And he pulls out this little old box, and he, he opens it up, and he had these little sticks in it. And he said, now, now, Duke, you still make fire up there with flint rock and stuff. And I said, yep, we're about as modern as you can get. And he said, let me show you this. So he took that little stick and he lifted his leg up and he hit the side of his pants and that little old stick just lit up in fire. And I'm just looking at it just in amazement. And he said, Duke, this here's called a match. And you, and you start fires with them. He took out another and he stuck it on the side of his pants and it lit up. And I said, well, I'm all for modern stuff. But it would never work for me. And Bill said, well, why not, Duke? I said, well, number one, I do not want to have to walk five miles every time I want to build a fire just to borrow your britches. 
you know, you and Rusty look pretty much alike. Uh, I know you're cousins or something. Do you be willing to take a DNA test to see if you're brothers? Uh, Y'all really kind of look like each other. Would I take a DNA test? DNA? Is that... I don't know what that is. Is that don't never ask? Cause I don't know, but I would if somebody would, would teach me so I could get ready for it. I'd be glad to. When I was a little boy, my dad always told me, he said, I should have threw you in the river and drowned you while you when you was a baby. Well, I think that's why I swim so well today. <laughs> So, I appreciate you answering my questions and, uh, for this interview. And if I ever get you on live stream, uh, people can ask you because you you were famous a long time ago, I hear. So, uh, and you're pretty popular now. So, so I, I really appreciate it, Duke, uh, on these questions. Uh, I really appreciate it a lot. So, all right. Well, thank you for asking me all of that. And I'm going to go see what free food Rusty's got to eat today. See you later, everybody.